let's denote the given expression by a so a is equal to minus half plus i times root 3 upon 2 whole raised to the power 6 plus half minus i times root 7 upon 2 whole raised to the power 6 in the first term minus half is equal to minus of cos of pi upon 3 and since cos is negative in the second quadrant this can be written as cos of pi minus pi upon 3 which is equal to cos of 2 pi upon 3 root 3 upon 2 is equal to sine of pi upon 3 and since sine is positive in the second quadrant this can be expressed as sine of pi minus pi upon 3 which is equal to sine of 2 pi upon 3 in the second term let half is equal to r cos alpha and let root 7 upon 2 be equal to r sine alpha therefore a can be written as cos of 2 pi upon 3 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 3 whole raised to the power 6 plus r raised to the power 6 multiplied by in brackets cos alpha minus i sine alpha whole raised to the power 6. Using the Mohr's theorem, this is equal to cos of 2 pi upon 3 times 6 plus i times sine of 2 pi upon 3 times 6 plus r is to the power 6 multiplied by cos 6 alpha minus i times r is to the power 6 times sin 6 alpha. Now cos of 6 alpha can be written as 2 times cos square 3 alpha minus 1 and sin 6 alpha can be written as 2 times sin 3 alpha times cos 3 alpha. Therefore, a is equal to cos of 4 pi plus i times sine of 4 pi plus 2 times r raised to the power 6 times cos square 3 alpha minus r raised to the power 6 minus 2i r raised to the power 6 times sine 3 alpha cos 3 alpha. Now we had assumed earlier that r cos alpha is equal to half and r sin alpha is equal to root 7 upon 2. Taking the square of both equations and adding we get r square is equal to half square plus root 7 upon 2 square and this is equal to 1 upon 4 plus 7 upon 4 which is equal to 2 and therefore r is equal to root 2. Now dividing the two equations we get r sin alpha upon r cos alpha is equal to root 7 which implies that tan alpha is equal to root 7. Now consider a right angle triangle with the angle between the base and the hypotenuse being equal to alpha. Since tan alpha is equal to root 7 therefore the perpendicular is equal to root 7 and the base is equal to 1 and therefore using Pythagoras theorem the hypotenuse is equal to root of 7 plus 1 which is equal to 2 root 2. Therefore sin alpha which is equal to the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse is equal to root 7 upon 2 root 2 and cos alpha which is equal to the base upon the hypotenuse is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2. Therefore, cos 3 alpha, which is equal to 4 times cos cube alpha minus 3 times cos alpha, which is equal to cos alpha times in brackets 4 times cos square alpha minus 3, is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2 multiplied by in brackets 4 times 1 upon 8 minus 3. And this simplifies to minus 5 divided by 
फोर टाइम्स रूट टू सिमिलरली साइन थ्री अल्फा विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री साइन अल्फा माइनस फोर टाइम साइन क्यूब अल्फा विच इज इक्वल टू साइन अल्फा टाइम्स इन ब्रैकेट्स थ्री माइनस फोर साइन स्क्वायर अल्फा इज इक्वल टू रूट सेवन अपॉन टू रूट टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय इन ब्रैकेट्स थ्री माइनस फोर टाइम्स सेवन अपॉन एट And this simplifies to minus root seven upon four root two. Using these results, the value of a, which is equal to cos of four pi plus i times sine of four pi plus two times r raised to the power six times cos square three alpha minus r raised to the power six. Minus two i times r is to the power six times sine three alpha cos three alpha is equal to one plus i times zero plus two times root two raised to the power six times minus five upon four root two square minus root two raised to the power six. Minus two i times root two raised to the power six times minus root seven upon four root two times minus five upon four root two, and this is equal to one plus two times eight times. Twenty-five upon thirty-two minus eight minus two i times eight multiplied by five root seven divided by thirty-two, and this simplifies to. Minus seven. Plus twenty-five upon two minus five root seven upon two times i, which is equal to eleven upon two minus five root seven upon two times i, and this is the required answer.